in this example, leave the house, check in my iPad, make sure everything's good to go. I see that I captured all the rooms, the hallways, everything looks good. Um, I don't need to go back and take any more pictures, but don't be afraid if you're at a house and you think you're done, you're like, oh crap, I missed picture, go back. <laughs> it will save you a lot of stress um, in the end. So anyways, let's go ahead and show you how to process, excuse me, edit it and then process it so I can send it off the Matterport and they do their um, little magic in between there. As you guys may have realized um, during this whole video tutorial thing we got going on here that my uh, iPad screen's a little dirty or full of fingerprints. Uh, so I do apologize for the visual of that. But anyways, so here we're at, okay? Remember when we were in the basement just a few moments ago and we had the mirror that we had to tell the Matterport camera to disregard? So let's go through all the other tools we have available to us. And so I'm gonna start on the main level of the house here. Um, in this case, it's relabeled here. So on floor two, which will actually be our main floor. I know that because of floor indicator here. I'm gonna click this line bar here, boom. And now I'm gonna start using my tools. Earlier, you see me use this tool, the mirror um, icon, okay? And so anywhere there's mirrors, we wanna reflect that. I went back into the bathroom, so there's a mirror in there that I know of. And downstairs, there's another mirror. So I'm gonna use this mirror tool on the sink, change it to swap label, meaning the front. That's very important because the mirror's facing this way, not towards the wall, so we wanted to do that. And now here, with this little, uh, you know, this over whatever here, this little tailor trailing tail, um, that's actually window. All these white spots here are windows. We need to tell Matterport that those are indeed windows. So right under the mirror, you see the mirror icon right directly under that is actually the window. And we do the same thing. We make little lines on the window. Do you see how it's showing the windows inside this way? That's incorrect, so we just simply click it, swap label, boom. Over here is another window. Excuse me, let's click the window. I believe it's like right about there. Again, swap that over. Another window. And now, typically as I'm doing a tour, I'm doing this as the camera's spinning around, you know, as I'm waiting to do uh, my next scan. So you can definitely do that, you know, during the tour or after, but you have to do it before you process it and luckily for us Matterport if you forget to do this for whatever reason when you click upload which will be here in a minute um, it will say you haven't put on your editing lines and all that so again here's a long window here this is actually four separate windows or such as you've seen moments ago in the kitchen example that we did uh, there's four different windows as it turns out you don't need to put a window indicator on each individual window you can actually do it for the whole shebang here. Again, the indicator is showing the insides that way. That's wrong, let's swap it, easy enough. Moving right along. You know, honestly, this is why I love this house because it has so many windows. Um, plus out in the country here, boom, inside. Another window. And what you see on my screen is just a low preview quality. So it would definitely look different, um, you know, once you do it. A lot of homeowners, after I get done with the tour, they're very fascinated by this. A lot of them's like, hey, can you show me the virtual tour? Or how many square feet is my, you know, house? I always tell them, well, we won't know until, you know, it finishes processing. But here's the ceiling down view of the floor plan. And they're usually pretty amazed because it is pretty interesting stuff here. So anyways, there we got our window indicators and our mirror and all our windows going around the house. Next, you see these little frillies these little things is because as we mentioned with the mirror, same thing with the windows. The Matterport camera thinks it's going on forever. And so it did the data outside of the windows, which is okay. However, it's not visually pretty. And so we go back to our toolbar by clicking on this line, click that little scissor thing. Whoops, let's remove that, start over. Yes. Click the little scissors. And what we're gonna do is, I keep messing up. I scratched that. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim it. And so I just find a good area. Let's trim this. So you get the scissor, you can start up here. What the, there we go. Make a straight line there. I always go a little bit outside of it. Let's swap the label because we wanna remove everything on this eye line. 
here's a line right here. We want to remove everything outside of that line right there. Uh, moving right along. And so now I made my straight line. I can actually move it by just holding onto it. I shorten it. And these don't have to be perfect, but one thing I'm looking for here is I want this line tool here to remove the frilly. So I want to make sure it gets over this, I don't know what the actual word is, frilly um, something. So do you see how my remove line, my scissor line, is actually going over my window? We don't want that. And because if I process it with the like it, it may actually remove my window from it. So I have my window showing all this is inside and I only want to remove what's on outside. Of course, you can clean this up a lot more than what I'm doing by just taking a few seconds, uh, maybe using, you know, more remove lines instead of one huge line. You can do a lot of stuff here. Uh, maybe clean up my window. The windows don't have to be perfect. I thought they did in the beginning, uh, but as it turns out, the technology is smart enough to kind of correct itself uh, within reason. So I got that one whole line here. So everything on this side of the red line is going to be gone. And it makes a whole tour that much better. Oftentimes when I'm on Zillow, I see other virtual tour photographers. They don't do this step. And when you look at the tour as a whole on the dollhouse view, if you're familiar, um, it just looks odd with all these little frillies hanging out. Trust me when I say it looks much, much better. A lot more visually appealing when you just clean it up a bit. All right, move that little guy here. And now you don't have to be perfect because oftentimes it won't get perfect. But trust me, you can spend a few minutes to get it a lot more perfect than what I'm doing. Again, I'm just zooming in, making sure I'm not, you know, deleting my window here. Maybe move that guy just down so much. Boom, all right. So this is the uh, top floor. Whoops, forgot about this little guy over here. And sometimes you will see, you actually don't need to remove much. Whoops, moving the window, let's move him out of the way. You actually sometimes don't need to do much, do much in regards to removing the excess frillies or whatever it is. Um, because depending on how you do your images, you know, if they're, you know, tight or very strategic, you may not have a lot of this overkill if you mark your windows and mirror and such. But taking the you know two, three, four minutes at the end to remove all the extras makes your tour look amazing. And when you're done, you click the X, you're good to go. Now that is the main floor of my house, you know, the ones with the kitchen and all that. Let's go ahead and move down to the basement level. Again, I'm looking for the windows. Here's a bathroom, obviously a mirror. There's a mirror at the bottom of the steps, if you remember. Mirror here, boom, put it right over here. Remember, facing out, do my little scissor. And do you see how I always put it outside of it and I switch the label? That's because it's easy just kind of move it like that and adjust as needed down here. You may find an easier way. I'd love to hear about it, but that's just my way. Here's a window in front of my desk. Don't be alarmed if this view looks a little bit different um, than the example, just how it is, but it's exactly the same. Do, 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 do. Swap that label. Is there any windows on that side? Let me think. Nope, that's the storage, that's the living room. All right, whoops, press too many buttons. All right, now we put our window, window, mirror. There's a window in the bathroom. However, I don't see a lot of it, so I'm not going to you know, mark it because I already have the uh, mirror marking there. Click my scissors. Now we're gonna be doing a little bit more trimmy trimmy here. Swap label, of course. Move that little guy up right there. Make sure it's not my window. Cool, all right. This part right here is obviously from that mirror, but I know you guys already guessed that. Um, as we talked about the mirror, it thinks it's, you know, that the, the, the lasers look at that and just kind of continue going on forever with all this stuff. And if you do not remove it, and the final version I will show you, it will be there and it just, you know, it catches your eye because it, you know it's not supposed to be there, I suppose. All right, make sure that's removed that way. Do, 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 do. All right, move that way. Make sure, it, whoops, right on my window. All right, put it right there. Remember getting all that stuff out of there. 
Now we are good to go. Do you see my good to go thumbs? All right, so that's good. You see on the uh, the main level of the house, got all the window markings, um, got the mirror markings in the bathroom. We have our trim marks around the property because we do not want that in the final version, of course. Check all floors. In this case, there's two floors. Have the same thing, mirrors marked. The access stuff around the trim, excuse me, around the model is have the remove markings on it, the scissor tool, as well as the uh, um, all the windows. So from there, you're done. You literally press upload right here. It will show what organization you're on. Um, you guys will figure it out once you get to that point, but I have two. Um, it just depends. There's different pricing models with Matterport, but again, all situations dictate for your uh, situation there. All right, once you guys press upload on the iPad, the model gets shot off to the Matterport, you know, back in, and they start stitching together all the 2D, 2D imagery into the 3D virtual tour model. Now, each model takes a different amount of time to actually process. Uh, the less, you know, the less scans you do or the smaller the space, typically it gets done, you know, pretty quick. It's anywhere from, I would say, two to six hours. I've done a large building, about 40,000 square foot, and I was shocked that Matterport, you know, processed that all together in only like six to eight hours, can't remember. But it was not long at all. And now, 